Hey guys, thanks for checking out another video. Uh, today I'm gonna be going over, you guessed it, my onboard water setup. A few of you guys have asked me to kind of go over this uh, and I figured I'd make a one take video, hopefully quick and to the point without too much rambling, just to kind of give you guys an idea and a description of basically my overall water setup that's inside my camper. Um, so let's get into it. Um, so basically this is a Allocab water tank specifically made for the canopy camper. Now, is this the only water tank you can put inside of a canopy camper? Of course not. But in my opinion, this has got to be the slickest. Um, the reason I really like this canopy camper is it kind of stores the tank up and out of the way and it's in front of the axles. So when I have, when I'm driving and I have this water tank completely filled up and it's again if I didn't mention it before it's a 13 gallon tank when I have it completely filled up I rarely fill it when I'm driving so having that weight in this location kind of in front of the axles is um, ideal now the way the Allocab kind of came up with their mounting system here as you can see these stainless steel brackets is pretty slick as well so let's get a little closer in and I'll kind of show you what that looks like so get you a little bit so i'm using a new gimbal here guys so i'm, I'm trying to trying to kind of learn how to use it so bear with me um so as far as the mounting setup goes they use m8 stainless steel hardware there's a um, m8 channel that runs on the bottom i'm sorry on the top and on the bottom um, of the canopy camper um, now this this water tank is an option so there's typically nothing in this location um, if you choose not to accessorize your canopy camper with this tank. A lot of people who don't put the tank here typically use this area as storage. And it's a great place for storage. But I really feel the water tank, um, the way the Allocab designed it, just fits so well here. Um, and again, I've already mentioned the M8 hardware. I do have a few accessories mounted to um, some of the hooks. Um, I typically store stuff I need to get to quick here in life, maybe like jackets or anything do dog related, like leashes or things like that. Headlamps typically go up here. Um, now, as far as um, filling up the water tank, if you go over here, this is the main water infill area. So this just screws off and you put your hose in there and just fill it up. Um, now above that here is a uh, air intake. So you'll need that in order to properly get the water out of the tank and have it pressurized properly. Um, now, Alucab does offer this as a kit. So what typically comes with this kit is um, a gravity fed um, system. I have um, a water pump kind of installed in mine. So over here on the bottom left is where the air, I'm sorry, the air, the water outlet goes. So um, this is where water goes out. I believe Alucab does allow you as well to go on the right bottom as well if you'd like to, to run your um, water outlet port on that side. So mine's on the left. Um, again, I did mention this comes, when you do order this, it, I believe it does come as a kit, as a gravity fed kit. So what that means is, um, if you choose to go the gravity feed kit, the way you basically just run a line and it basically runs from the, the exit port of the water on the water tank, it runs along here on the side and then there, you'll get a uh, basically a water port you drill here and you kind of install it there and that's a great system um it's low tech and the chances of a gravity fed system failing is pretty low so with my setup it's a little different it's not anything over the top but it is it does fit my knees just overall better so and i'll kind of get into that here so in this left-sided module goose gear module um, this is designated as kind of a wet area. This is typically where I store anything wet when, when we're camping. Um, so towels, sinks, hoses, anything that can get wet typically stays in here. Now, the way mine is set up, I'll get you a little bit more zoomed in here. 
There you go. So the way mine is set up, as you can see here, is water outlet to vinyl hose. And then that goes into a sediment filter. And then that sediment filter feeds into the SureFlow water pump. Now the SureFlow water pump is mounted, um, it, it's mounted using a custom mount that mounts to the bottom. There's a slot on the bottom, an M8 slot, where you can fit in an M8 hardware. Um, this is a custom mount specifically made for the SureFlow water pump um, that mounts the pump up and out of the way inside this little cubby. Um, I will list in the description below which SureFlow water pump that I am using. So from there, um, get you down here. So from there, you'll see another port here, and that goes to a 25 foot water safe drinking hose. Um, and that goes to a water safe nozzle. Now, I like having a 25 foot hose because I want to be able to use my water source in different locations. For instance, if I wanted to use this and take a shower, I can run this 25 foot hose to the shower cube, which is located on, all the way on the other side of my truck. Another reason I like this is if I'm inside the camper and I don't want to get out because it's too cold and I want to make some coffee, I need some water, I can just stay inside the camper, fill up a pot of water so I can make some coffee inside the camper. There's been so many times where I'm, I'm so thankful to have this inside my camper. Um, the third reason is when our dog goes into the camper, he sleeps in the downstairs area of the canopy camper. And so we typically kind of wash him off before he gets in the camper. And we, I like this hose because this gets far away. This pulls out far away from our camping area to where I can properly hose off our dog to where it's not muddying up the camping area. So that's another thing I like. Those are just some reasons that I like having this kind of setup. I have thought about installing like, um, like a water faucet here and then having onboard water. But you know, I think it would complicate things a little too much. The hose with the water nozzle solution has been working for me. Um, I really like it. So and I don't want to get too complicated on, on, on water setups. I do want to try to keep it simple. So again, you could do a gravity feed with this. You do not have to do a water pump setup. I, um, I think personally for my needs, this works better. So the way I power on that water pump is I'll go ahead and pan over here. Come on, gimbal. All right. So if you guys have watched my other walk around videos on the canopy camper. You guys have probably seen this, I've mentioned it. Um, this is a blue sea switch panel. So I have one here specifically for the water pump, flip that on and it powers a water pump. And that's basically it. Now, as far as I know, I'm probably gonna get some questions asked how I mounted the SureFlow water pump um, or how the SureFlow water pump is mounted um, to the channel on the bottom there. Um, I'll list I'll post up some photos here to kind of show you what that mount looks like, just to kind of give you an idea. And that basically wraps up the video, guys. Um, again, I wanted to keep this video pretty short and to the point. So hopefully you guys found uh, this video helpful. And if you do have any more questions on maybe something I didn't cover, ask them down below and I'll definitely reply. Thanks for checking out the video. See ya.